Rebel TV guys back to for our fourth video and guess what we are now microphoned up inside of the helmet thanks to a few friends of mine and uh, hopefully everything works out today we're really excited to I've, I've won a few test runs and I think we've we've kind of patented down uh, all the all the bugs out of this microphone and I hope you guys all enjoy a much pleasant ride uh, before we start, I would like to say thank you all again for the view for the viewers out there, and the same thing alike to the subscribers. And a big shout out to my man in Germany at Xcraft Videos. I wanted to say Danke schön. I hope you all enjoy. If I could close my garage door, that would be great. Come on, there we go. Okay. So it's uh, almost night time. Uh, we're going to get into a little bit of riding. And nevertheless, let's suit up here, say a quick prayer, and get ready to go. Nice day to ride. Good weather. Just came off of a couple days of rain, so everything is alive. All is well. The roads are dry. Conditions are great. In any case, visor down. All you first timers out there, I ride a brand new 2013 Honda Rebel with just under 1,200 and some odd miles, and we have only made one addition to the bike so far, and that being aftermarket pipes uh, made by Jardine. So I like to refer to my bike as the Bumblebee Rebel. So, bro, bro. Anyways, let's say a quick prayer here. we're kind of just cruising today not so much of a explore exploration but we are riding oh I'm so happy I hope you guys are too this microphone is able to pick up me without having to scream at you like before and also still picks up all of the noise from the bike and the road and just the overall experience hey there my neighbor I like to call that guy angry Santa he rides a full-size street glide and he likes to go about 10 miles an hour on that thing we are back and up and running I apologize for the delay but like I said before uh, we were getting the microphone and I wanted to do a couple of test runs work out all the kinks and find tweakings and be able to put out a quality product for you guys so that is the ultimate goal is for you guys to enjoy me riding as much as I do and so on and so forth time we talked the Super Bowl was going on what an absolute slaughter <laughs> this thing looked like a scrimmage it was like skins versus shirts right and I will say this in uh, one one statement that I feel is uh, firm and very true is that a great offense sells tickets but defense wins championships. So we've been getting pretty good miles per gallon in the Rebel lately. Averaging about 70 to 73 miles per gallon. If I can gauge it right. Or so. I, I always switch over to the Petcock valve as a reserve. You know, and I run that another 15, 20 miles before we stop and get gas. So we can kind of accurately gauge how many miles per gallon we're really getting. But 
you see it's kind of congested out today, so we are going to put our skills to the test. To the test. Microphone check. One, two. Vroom, vroom. HRTV, subscribe to me. Hope you guys enjoy. Dangerous out here. For all you first timers, this is in uh, Sacramento, California. And sometimes you would think we're in Mumbai, in Italy, the way that some of these people drive. They think that they're all got the width of a go kart and the speed of a bike, a motorcycle. Quite crazy. just gonna go on a nice cruise. In any case, a brush up on what's happened to me in life. You know, like you all, we're still working. We got a couple of new things in the, in, the, in the works that hopefully pan out to be great. Got some support behind me and some innovation, motivation, inspiration, all those things that end with Asian, we got them all, so. I hope everything turns out well for y'all, too. But the key here is, not only do I want you guys to join me riding, but, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to engage in conversation with you all. I know we've got some introverts out there that like to just watch and observe. I'm, I'm one of those, to a certain degree, as myself. But feel free to leave comments, suggestions, any feedback is welcome, negative, positive, I don't care. I do this for you guys, and I like to ride, so I figure why not just put the two of them together, huh? Why be selfish? We're cruising. We're cruising. Not for a bruising. Hands are on the handlebars, Mom, if you're watching this video. I love you to death. Throttle down. Okay. Have you noticed that each year your depth perception decreases? I mean, I've noticed because I, I sit in the car with my girlfriend and she goes, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. And I said, look, I'm like 10 cars away. What are you talking about? And really, I'm like inches away. Well, not inches, but, you know, I'm really close. And I start to see that on a motorcycle, uh, people's driving habits, being good or bad, become more apparent, you know, as you have to be more conscientious of, of, of your surroundings and what's going on around, uh, you know, around you and so forth. But man, I'm glad everybody doesn't drive like me. <laughs> da 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 da. I got another video I'm going to be publishing here soon. It's of a friend of mine. And I'm going to do this for him as a kind of a show of appreciation and respect for our friendship. He had a Basset Hound dog that was a life partner of his for years. And believe it or not, the, the dog loved to ride on his motorcycle and there was nothing more than this dog liked to do than going through the mountains of Santa Cruz and Saratoga, California at 65, 85 miles an hour with his big old ears flapping in the wind then sitting at home eating his kibbles and bits you know the guy the dog liked to ride bikes 
you know and I, I'm not too much of a firm believer of uh, reincarnation but in this scenario maybe the dog in his previous life liked to ride hogs so you guys will be seeing that video but what a joy to watch I mean it's one of the coolest sights to be seen Valentine's Day passed by. I hope you guys all took care of your women. Even myself, I much don't believe in the holiday itself, as I think it was created by Hallmark in order to boost the sale of what I call arts and crafts, but the girls seem to like it, right? So you gotta hook them up. What did I get mine? What did I get you, babe, for Valentine's Day? Well, we celebrated a little bit early because I have a, a very, very daunting work schedule. But she got a nice, pretty ring, some chocolates, a nice dinner, and a couple of kisses. I can't get any much better than that, right? Health is everything, guys. Health is everything. Got a wave out of him. Dude on the Harley. But, you know, I, I hope uh, all of you out there keep up with your ride, man. Because for myself, you know, there's very few things in life that I get joy out of away from work and, and the, I can name them and that's family, my significant other, music, I, I love to play music, I play the piano, I'm not you know a Franz Litz or a Chopin or Beethoven myself but uh, I like to think of myself as an advanced amateur, you know that's one of my outlets, another one is fishing which I haven't been able to do in a long long time, I love to go fishing also uh, metal detecting I love to try to find treasure I've been metal detecting uh, casually for about four years and the biggest find I ever got was a piece of a revolver that I took to a gun shop and it was the cylinder of a revolver and the gun shop dated it to the late 1800s and believe it or not I found it in the middle of a soccer field at a high school out of all places right and oh man for any of you guys that are treasure hunting no matter whatever it is you get that bug and I'm telling you when I dug that thing out of the ground holy shnikes I thought that I hit pay dirt so I put together this whole CSI Miami scenario in my head where I thought oh man somebody must have committed a big crime of some sort and broke the gun into pieces so I went you know scowling and scavenging the rest of that soccer field for the other part of the pistol and I never found it and since then all I have found are bottle caps and aluminum cans <laughs> like I said I'm a transparent guy I'm not going to say sit here and say that I found, you know, sun sunken pieces from the Atocha, right? But that's what I get joy out of. Uh, a few other things, but in any case. Hey, uh, look over here. I'll move the sign. There you go. That place right there is called Johnny Garlics. For any of you people that watch that show, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, or Diners, whatever, Triple D, that's Guy Fieri's restaurant which isn't too far away from where we live and uh, I'll tell you I find the show much more interesting than I do his cuisine it's not to say it's bad food but you would think uh, you know walking into Wolfgang Puck or or uh, you know a Gordon Ramsay restaurant that it would be ten times better the food than you see on the show which is damn good looking right but he's got some weird stuff on that menu I'm talking uh, let's see deep fried 
deep fried sushi rolls and oh man I went there one time and I got this amazing roast beef sandwich that was recommended to me by a friend it was a french dip french dip sandwich it was to die for but for dessert oh, oh was that gross it was a uh, pita dessert pizza and let me tell you it was like if you mixed bread concrete freeze-dried bananas and other astronaut food on a pizza that's what it tasted like. It was pretty gross, but enough about that. Uh, oh, excuse me, another burp in the helmet. You know, I'm, thank you for putting up with my burps, but like I said previously, you know, I, you guys know who you are. I'm not the only one that burps in their helmet. Luckily for me, all I ate today was some fruit and uh, light salad, but so it doesn't smell too raunchy. But I know, I know you guys burp in your helmets. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real, huh? Anywho, I saw, I looked at the demographics of all the viewers. Man, we're just getting a, a plethora of views coming from all over the world. We're talking the Czech Republic, Poland, Slovakia, my man Xcraft in Germany, Indonesia, the Philippines. You know, and if you look, I don't have that many views, but I am shocked to see the the array of audience that are tuning in, you know, and there's a bunch of bunch of guys in Alaska that are watching too. God bless you all. What a beautiful state you live in. I'm jealous. But I just can't thank you all enough uh, for watching. You know, it brings me great pleasure to know that there's others out there enjoying what I enjoy. Oh, and I'm so happy I don't have to scream and yell at you guys anymore. Oh, this microphone has just been a godsend for what we're trying to do. It is cool. It is the cat's meow. The hottest thing since sliced bread, pants with pockets, bars of silver, coins of gold. We've rigged this microphone in a way where I hope it's still kind of nondescript where people don't say, oh man, that guy, he's up to something. Maybe he's working for the FABI, a.k.a. the FBI, the FABI, or the SS, not the Germans, Dankeschön. We're talking the Secret Service. And no, I am not affiliated with any law enforcement agency. However, I do support all local authority. Let's see here. Is it safe to go? Yeah. making fun of me, a close buddy of mine. He rides some Kawasaki crotch rocket that goes, you know, zero to five thousand miles an hour in half a second. He goes, oh man, you're gonna kill yourself right now on the rebel, man. Yeah. And then he tells me that he's got to sell his bike because every time he looks down, he's in second gear going 105 miles an hour. Yeah. Who's gonna kill themselves, buddy? I won't flip a coin over it, but I hope both of us uh, stay alive long enough to enjoy our glory years while still being able to ride, right? Up over here, I don't know if you, you probably can't see it, there's this place called the Flamin' Grill Cafe. Over there, they serve what a lot of people would think to be taboo. They serve lion burgers, antelope burgers, crocodile, ostrich, ferret, skunk, rat, feces, beavers. I mean, you name it, they serve the most bizarre foods. Andrew Zimmerman 
definitely owes a visit to that place. But man, what an exciting month for me. I hope for you, you know, lots of little stuff that make me happy, you know, you got Vikings coming back on, that's awesome, I love that show, we got Game of Thrones coming back on soon, we got uh, a few other cool shows, right, and then, hey, let, speaking of Game of Thrones, would you believe that Khaleesi got voted hottest woman of the year, right? You know, I, she's a very, very pretty lady, but I will tell you that, um, you know, I'm not saying she didn't deserve the vote, but I don't know. Maybe it was her mystique and, you know, her whole character that won her the award, but it's one of those things. If, you, if, if any of you have watched Game of Thrones or not, I'll tell you. Uh, she has had a few scenes where she's been, you know, a full, had a full frontal nude. And for a man, it's like one of those things, right? Well, now that you've seen it, okay, that's cool. I mean, that was nice. But then you move on, right? I mean, I'm taken. You know, I have a girlfriend, but, you know, if I was single, you know, once you see it, man, then you're like, okay, well, I just had that flavor. I just had that flavor of chips. Now I want a different one. So... I don't know. Maybe she would have been hotter if I hadn't already seen the goods. <laughs> right? Oh. We've been playing a lot of poker lately. Doing pretty well. Playing some live cash games. I wish to God they would bring back internet gambling. Because I love to gamble. Well, play poker. I've been making a lot of sports bets lately, which I've kind of really stopped because, man, can any of you guys win on basketball? I mean, Jesus. It is like, the, or hockey. I mean, I got so pissed at one point, okay, where I was on this losing streak, that I bet $500 on a game of cricket. No, snooker. It was a game of snooker. Which I have, I don't even know how to play. I know nothing about the game. I just wanted to make the most degenerate gambling bet possible. Because that's how you win, right? Or how you think you're going to win, is by not caring about the money. And, of course, we lost, you know. To be honest with you, Honda Rebel TV doesn't have the best of luck in the world. <laughs> That's probably an understatement. I got pretty damn bad luck when it comes to uh, sinful wages, right? Probably means I should stay away from gambling altogether. But you like what you like, and you never sit down with what you're not willing to lose. So, you never really lose. At least how that's I just that's how I justify it. Brown. I'm hungry. Probably gonna go out for dinner tonight. Uh, we were gonna have steak, but it didn't thaw out completely. So, I think my girlfriend does that on purpose, you know. When she tells me in this, in this kind of mischievous, secret, kind of conniving tone, Hey, you know, I put the steaks out in the fridge and I wanted to have them for dinner tonight, but they didn't thaw all the way, so I'm not too sure what we should do for dinner. Do you have any ideas? And of course, she knows the type of man I am, you know. I'm like, well, you know, make some pirate food or let's go out. So I'm sure she doesn't want pirate food, so we're probably going to go out. And, you know, we don't get many days off, even when we do, we're always, we're always doing something, so. It's nice to spend quality time with her over a nice meal. And dim lights. Oh, that's a pet peeve of mine, man, is you go to a nice restaurant and you've got these HID lamps, right? Right underneath your table. I mean, seriously, 
you could flag down a, or signal a helicopter in distress. I mean, who likes restaurants with bright freaking lights? I like them dim. Ro not to say romantic, because you know I'm not a, I'm not much of a romantic guy. You know, I like guns and shit, right? But uh, I like dim lights, quiet. No screaming babies. I got nothing against babies, but I do not like them screaming while I'm eating. So hopefully we'll find something like that tonight. Yeah, that sounds good. Anyways, this almost concludes our ride. Kind of slow. Stop and go. Nothing too fancy. I told my mom, okay, I'll keep both my hands on the handlebars and I won't do lane sharing. So if you're watching, can't say that I didn't listen to you. Even though I'm 30 years old, damn it. But if we go back to our uh, first video and now onto our fourth or fifth, I'm glad that all of you guys have stayed loyal and continue to watch and enjoy and uh, we're going to keep putting out a quality product and I should have said this in the beginning but this video is recorded in high definition in 1080 so go ahead and click on that HD box guys whatever your uh, computer tablet or phone can handle that's highest resolution 720 or 1080 this is recorded in 1080 at uh, 30 frames per second at a wide angle, so go ahead and blow up that monitor of yours. Yeah, Honda Rebel TV, Macho Man Randy Savage. Look at this, this guy over here, you can see, Truck Depot, and he totally robbed the design from the Home Depot, can you see that? Now that's pretty innovative, right? Either innovative or... Thieving. <laughs> I wonder if he'll get in trouble. I'd go after him if I was home people. Well, I guess we're gonna make a right here. Counter steer. Go in. Push. Accelerate out. Man. we're almost back home so in any case I hope you guys have a wonderful week this video will be uploaded today it is Tuesday March 17th or 18th I have no concept of time I'm still in the get smart Dean Martin Rat Pack days man where days don't matter they just exist so in any case I hope you guys enjoy the video Stay tuned to next time, and we're going to try to up our game and do two videos a week, God willing. And yeah, Honda Rebel TV is the name of my channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and again, all feedback is welcome, and uh, I hope you guys take care. And enjoy the rest of your February. It's a short month, so make the most of it, right? 28 days left. The Walking Dead. Dun, dun, dun. Anyways. Honda Rebel TV, guys. Godspeed. Live safe and ride hard. Take care. We're out.